Is that considered broad shoulders? <laughs> it's all good. Like, is that broad? Is that like... It's wonderful. Okay, cool. It's just what you wanted to see. All right. I enjoyed it. The food was amazing, O'Neal, my guy. Uh, I, I knew most of your friends, but the people I did meet, you know, I thought they were cool people. We all hit it off. Uh, bridesmaid were cool. The scenery was like that. So, you know, I had a good time and I enjoyed myself and I'm looking forward to uh, working with everybody. You taught me this technique in New York like two three years ago. Man, I think it was beautiful, man. I think uh, definitely y'all set the tone of what black wedding should be, man, going forward. Um, it should be more investment in the beginning uh, to spark off a great marriage. More people got to do stuff like this and, and take this as the, the quorum to go from um, going forward, man. It was beautiful, man. The scenery was nice. I mean, I ain't had no complaints, man. No complaints. And, you, and we had a cigar. <laughs> so I was happy, man. I can't complain. Thank you guys all for coming out, joining us this evening. I know we've got, again, a lot of different questions about uh, details about November coming up. We got a lot of great things in store, a lot of things we're excited about to share with you guys. And, Definitely appreciate and love each and every one of you guys for agreeing to be a bridesmaid and a groomsman for us. Uh, your support is really, truly uh, something that we we don't uh, take lightly and something that we appreciate. And we definitely want to take this time to kind of show you guys how much we love y'all and appreciate y'all for, you know what I'm saying, so loving us and supporting us up to this point. Yeah, and to my ladies, um, we had already did our gift exchange, but you guys know that each and every one of you guys play such an integral part in my life. From nine years old, I think a lot of you guys, I even was in diapers with, and so it's it's an honor for you guys to be here with us. It's an honor for you guys to um, witness this union. Some of y'all even was there when, you know, Bakes and I first started dating and- uh, To my fellas, we just gave, gave y'all a little, little good job. We wanted to get a little compliment, but you guys know that. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, man. It's just, just thank y'all for being here with me. Seriously, man, making it easy for me, giving me advice, keeping me on track, uh, challenging me. You know what I'm saying, and developing me into the man I am today. I love you guys so much, and we about to have a good time. So Ooh. time to party, yeah, have a good most, time. I think that's my drink over there, but we better oh. like to have a token shot, yeah. man. For you know can what we, I'm saying. Can we uh, bring the drink? I would say uh, to love, to family, to uh, friends, to to to. So loyalty to, to support. Amadi at last, Amadi coming soon, y'all. The day that I met all the bridesmaids and all the groomsmen was magical. We walked in, she showed us the video, everything, and I tried not to guess what was going on, but I really wanted to know just because I'm nosy. And then they took us into the room. It was gorgeous. The presents, I still use the stuff. Look, actually I'm running out, but I, I was using all <laughs> that, the lip scrub and everything. I used all the gifts. Um, the food, oh my goodness. Look, I'm not used to that, but it was good. <laughs> so I, um, that day was amazing. You could tell there was a lot of thought and details put into it and I mean I appreciate it so once again I am excited for the wedding because I know it is about to be so much fun it's, it's about to be beautiful all right make sure you add a little hip don't forget about that part okay. oh the bar party is lit I hope y'all are ready it's and we are lit. All right, let me tell you that right now. So, shout out Gladys Fabrics. Hey. AKA Miss Abraham, AKA my mom in law. Hey, Miss Abraham. So, uh, she was a godsend in helping us prepare for November 12th and 14th. She was our tailor. Yes. She uh, she was fitting all the girls, making sure that all the dresses were were, were A1. And you, it was 10 customized. First off, we had two different events. So for our white wedding ceremony, the girl, Smith Abraham did 10 totally customized dresses 
for each and every other 10 girls. Yes. Um, and she did 10 alterations on the customized dresses. 10 plus got. alterations. Yeah. It, it wasn't just one alteration that, yeah. that, that, that went. So I guess we say this to say the amount of work, time, energy, patience that she paid with us, uh, paid to us was, 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 was crazy. And you guys were able to see some of the outfits that we were came out in. She had a huge part in doing that as far as uh, make, providing suggestions, getting fabric, yes. uh, different little add-ons, customizations. Gosh, and if you're in the market trying to get some African traditional clothing made, highly recommend Ms. Abraham. Great pricing, A1 customer service, gets no better. Uh, even before I went, I, I, we, we went to her for yeah. certain uh, people. For our um, engagement. Oh, yeah, she has done phenomenal. And I will have to say, like, she even altered my, I had ordered, um, I had got some of my customized Nigerian outfits made in Nigeria. They came, I want to say, three days before. She was still finishing up the girls' last outfits. And the day of, literally, she got me together. She was altering my the outfit wedding? the day of the wedding. The morning of 10, 11 o'clock, I remember the time it was, I was there and she was getting me together and I had very difficult um, outfits that she really had to customize and just really snatch. And so when y'all see me coming down that, that, you know, that runway, she snatched me to the gods. And Ms. Abraham, I am forever, forever, forever grateful for you. Thank you so much for the role you played. Um, we love you. Definitely. Holler, let us know uh, if you need her contact. We're definitely more than happy to share. Yes. Uh, Gladys Fabrics, definitely follow, share, like, go for, holler at her, please. Holler at her. That was excellent. Um, you know, man, like a sweet little spot. Uh, walked in there, you know, cameraman was right there on the spot. Luckily, or, you know, I was, I'm always ready, you know what I'm saying? I'm always camera ready, you know what I'm saying? So I pull up, you know, dude got the camera, backs me, we dab each other up. And then we get into this nice little room, got the blue lights and stuff. I was like, damn, I love it, bro. <laughs> But uh, no, it's a good time. It's gonna be, it's a serious thing. But yeah. at, the, at the same time, it's like a celebration, more or less. Uh, that's how Africans kind of do this thing. So, so it's gonna be a lot of, you know, just fun. Lighten up, drink something. You know what I mean? Loosen up, have a good time. Take some pictures. Dress. We're gonna have a couple outfits, all that probably, good stuff. Probably. You know, gonna be fresh. But it's a, it's a really good time to enjoy some things. So, not dry. It's right. not gonna be a dry situation. <laughs> I enjoyed the introduction to the whole engagement um, and just introduction to, you know, the whole Pride Party, the um, groomsmen. I know most of the groomsmen, of course. Well, I knew all the groomsmen, not <laughs> um, But nonetheless, it was just a great environment, great spirit. It was great to have O'Neal cook, you know what I'm saying? I've been dying to have his food. Um, so that was great to have a caterer there, a black owned caterer, a uh, black owned um, a wedding company as well. Like that was just a great experience in itself. Um, so yeah, it was, it was great. Gotcha. Yeah, man, I got a little little pink and blue. I got a little gender reveal going on today. Oh, so I'm having a brand new baby, due November 9th, and uh, I'm just blessed, man. Okay. I actually really loved how it was put together. Um, I think one thing about Ace is just, she's so kind, um, really, kind-hearted and genuine and you can just tell um that that's something that bakes has in him as well and so just seeing how they came together and really made sure that their people um were good i thought that that was really amazing i loved it um in terms of meeting everybody on the bridal party i, I actually wasn't sure but i wasn't i actually wasn't worried at all simply because i know ace 
And if I know Ace, you good if you want a bridal party kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like, so it was more of an exciting thing as opposed to kind of like what you may think of being nervous, like, dang, I hope I don't end up with nobody, I'm not trying, you know, like none of that. It was just a real like, I'm so excited, like, I know that if y'all rock with AC, AC rock with y'all, y'all gonna be mad cool. Let's have a good time. And I feel like that kind of just helped with the vibe and starting things out. So I thought it was, it was perfect. Purchasing a home in the middle of a pandemic while planning two weddings, what could go wrong? Yikes. Um, once we got engaged, Get the wedding planning. Uh, wedding planning was already on and popping. For me, it didn't make sense to plan for a wedding and not have an idea as to what where we're going to live after the wedding. And once again, it didn't make sense for me personally to to go as grand and lavish as we were going to go as grand and lavish for the wedding, and not to have our home situation after the wedding situated. During the same time period, I also decided to study, get my real estate license. By me doing that, I was able to get an inside scoop as to uh, where the real estate market was getting ready to turn to. Of course, I didn't know exactly it would turn into the beast that it is today, now in 2021, but during this time of 2020, I did have an idea that things were going to change due to COVID. And um, understanding that and getting on the front end of that before things get really crazy was paramount. Oh, I, I was betting on my future. My, my, my idea and vision was my future is gonna be better than my past. And I knew that putting myself in position to be able to acquire a new construction home would only add value, add equity, only position us to ultimately where we want to ultimately end up being. This is one of the, 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 the stops before we get to our grand destination. verse 1 unless the Lord builds a house the work of the builders is wasted unless the Lord protects a city guarding it with centuries will do no good what this means is that everything that we do in life requires a dependence upon God and without God we find our efforts left with either frustration or unsuccessful Intentionally placing God at the head of the house and in our lives is a home built not in vain. Matthew chapter 7 verses 24 through 27. Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and the floodwaters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish, like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. A strong, well-built foundation keeps your footing secure and structured. I believe a strong foundation in the Lord leads to longevity, security, and abundance. Thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Oh God, we want to thank you for such a time as this. Even in 2020, when our country continues to see a lot of turmoil, we're in the midst of a pandemic, we're in the midst of those who are racing for a cure and a vaccine. Oh God, we continue to stretch our hands, even with racial polarization. Oh God, even with the census. Oh God, even with a major election coming up in November, God, we continue to stretch our hands to you. 
And so even as this couple comes to you, dear Lord, even as they come before you as new homeowners, dear Lord, buyers and owners, oh God, we believe your word. Even as the raw materials, we even see them being payloaded and stacked. Even in this living area, dear Lord, we thank you because your word says in Psalm 40 that I waited and we waited patiently on the Lord Amen. and he inclined unto us and heard our cry. Yes. He brought us up out of the horrible pit, out of the muck and mire, out of the rockiness and the pebbles and the stones, out of that miry clay and set our feet upon a rock. Oh God, we pray that you will set Bakes and Flora's feet upon you, the rock, dear Lord. Oh Amen. God, put a new song in their mouth. Even Amen. praise unto our God. Amen. You God, you are God and our risen Savior. And so we give you praise, dear Lord, for what is to come. Eyes have not seen nor ears heard what has even been entered, dear Lord, into it. And what you have planned for those who trust and believe in you. So God, we give you praise, honor, and glory. We ask that you would touch up. Oh God, we pray that you will continue to pour in. Oh God, we pray that you will show out, dear Lord, yes, that you will continue to touch every nook and cranny and every square foot of this house. Yes, oh God, we pray for the neighbors, even the neighbors that come, because we know it's a package deal. You're even working on some neighbors, yes, black, yes. white, Latino, Korean, whomever, whatever their ethnicity is, whatever their nationality is, we say, God, Dios te bendiga. Oh God, we pray for you to continue to touch every household. Oh God, the builders and the contractors, the electricians and the plumbers, the carpenters. We pray, God, that you will touch every family, every man, woman, boy, and girl who's connected to this community. Oh God, we pray, dear Lord, tens of thousands of praise, dear Lord. We thank you for that ten. Oh God, we thank you, dear Lord, that you're the one in control. And so we pray that you will continue to touch and bless this family. Oh God, continue to bless every room. Oh God, every conversation, dear Lord. Every hour and every second, dear Lord. After every busy day, dear Lord. After work, dear Lord. After presentations, dear Lord. After waking up, dear Lord. After workout after dinners, after every meal, after getting ready, after yeah. celebrations, after birthdays, after graduations, dear Lord, after promotions, yeah. after business being yeah. built up, yeah. dear Lord. We pray that you will bless every aspect of this family's life, that you would get the glory, dear God, yes, even Lord. beyond the brick and the mortar, even beyond the two by fours and the plywood, even beyond the roof, God. You are our rock, so on Christ, Amen. the solid rock we stand. Yes, That's Lord. why the word tells us in that song. Amen. Oh God, we dare not trust the sweetest frame, but holy lean on Jesus' name. On Christ, the solid rock we stand. On Christ, baked some floor stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. So have your way, God. You are our rock. Amen. By the authority of our rock, Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Is this my house? I'm crazy. So I know the pandemic has kind of thrown things a schedule off a little bit, and I was a little nervous about having to push it maybe to next year or whenever we could have big um, gatherings again. But um, now we're good. I'm right back and just excited all over again. I feel like I've said excited like 15 times. <laughs> Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's throwing anything off like right now because we kind of just picked everything back up. The moving of everything with COVID, the racial tensions, her father passing within the last month, even us going through our own personal thing during this time, it was, it was really challenging. Um, I think the greatest one was our own personal issues that we had during this wedding time, which we kind of resolved now. Um, but it was definitely hard um, emotionally wise during this time when she needed help and probably I need to have my own things that I need to help with as well. Um, but all in all is, is moving forward with grace. Um, I'm glad that we're here now that we still have a plan for uh, November 12th and 14th. Um, so I'm excited. Woo -woo. Well, throughout this whole pandemic, I think that planning the wedding, well, in the, in the beginning, you know, Nigerian wedding, it's a process, but through the pandemic, you know, we've made our, we've made the decision to move forward with the wedding. So it's been fine so far. I was really nervous at first because when everything got shut down, I was really scared. Like, oh, I really hope that all this planning, all this processing we've been going through for the wedding, like, please, Lord, don't let us get it canceled. On top of that, your dad passing and then the racial divide that's going on as well. It's just, it's been a lot emotionally. It's been a lot to like deal with, but at the end of the year, like my brain is still like, okay, like I still have the wedding to hold on to. It's my first time being a bridesmaid, so I'm just like, ah, I'm excited, I can't wait. Definitely excited. <laughs> Not only has it been tough planning a wedding during the pandemic, but I lost my father who suffered from dementia for almost 10 years. Due to the pandemic, I was unable to be there for his last breaths, which was a hard pill to swallow. My girls unexpectedly surprised me, which definitely put a smile on my face. 
This has been quite a process. So in addition to the pandemic that we're going through right now, all of the racial tension that's going on around us, our father passed away recently about a month ago. Um, and so it's really been a challenge. It's been a challenge to sort of manage everything emotionally. Um, but my sort of mantra, and I think everybody kind of has to fall in line with this, is you take one day at a time. You just do as much as you can in one day. And when you can't, go to sleep. <laughs> Try again tomorrow. No, no, please don't. I'll talk to you later. I'll call you when I get off. Okay, love you. Bye. Love you too. Bye. This is amazing. Oh, this is really amazing. Can we get some photos with the... Yeah. Before I cry. Let's get the photos. Yes. Let's get them. Don't cry. Don't cry. I'm trying to hold it. You want to say something? Hey, baby. We love you. My friend. <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm engaged at this time. I'm also planning a wedding during a pandemic and I'm also a bridesmaid in my sister's wedding during this time and so it's been tough um, but I knew that I was going to make whatever work to be in her wedding as well. Um, I did have to cancel my wedding but it has actually been able to be better because now I can focus on hers. Um, I am still planning a wedding but it's not going to be as grand and so I'm ready. I'm excited. We love you and F. Colonia. We absolutely love everything about you, sis. We yeah. here for you always. Bride Track Chronicles. Yes, we do. Love you so much. To the moon and back, baby. Oh, yeah. Love you. Love you, boo. So being Flo's matron of honor has been, well, definitely an honor for sure, but it's also been a very emotional journey doing this with her um, in the middle of a pandemic. Um, she recently lost her father, and that's sorry that's really hard to talk about because we all know how amazing he was and still is today um, if you don't know I'm the crybaby of this whole situation but um, the beautiful part is being able to go on this emotional emotional journey with her um, calling in checking in we have conversations just keeping trying to keep her spirits in a good place wondering what her next move is and just staying on top of um, Staying on top of a mental space is really important when you're a bride. I had got married last year and I know for me like that was one of the things that um, people often forget is you don't just need planning and preparation. You need a lot of mental, a, a lot of mental um, care and that is the kind of thing that I think we're going through with this. Wow. Uh, that was definitely a surprise. I had no idea my girls were coming and so I thought that was just so thoughtful and the girls did that to surprise me to make me feel good um, just with everything going on and so I, I appreciate you guys so much for being so thoughtful and just thinking about me and I love you guys. Hello? Hey, so how you doing? Hey, how are you? I'm good. Uh, He's good. How's it going, all right? No, no, great. Uh, unfortunately, I heard something this morning that I just announced, and they had phase one. They have to reduce the numbers 